So there's been a lot of action in the transfer portal, and deservedly so. We've been quite focused on that, but today uh, we need to talk about some college football recruiting because some big moves have been made and we need to break it down. First and foremost, we need to talk about a four-star offensive lineman who just made their decision in Austin Sierveld, and we need to talk about why this is such a big win for Ohio State. And then we need to move to the Pac-12 and talk about the Oregon Ducks going to California, taking a top 200 player in the nation, and why this is such a big win for Dan Lanning and Oregon and what it means for the Pac-12. Before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments, why for yes, in for no. And do you believe now that we're in May, we're about to see the recruiting landscape really heat up? Let me know what you're thinking. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, like and comment down below as those interactions, though seemingly small, are incredibly impactful to content creators such as myself and both getting paid picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But having said all of that, let's jump right into this. And we are going to start with Austin Sierveld, who just made his collegiate decision, choosing Ohio State over the likes of Alabama and Notre Dame. And let's start there, because anytime those are the brands we're talking about, I'm already going to be incredibly interested, because you're talking about heavyweights in the college football world. Ohio State recruits at an elite level. Alabama recruits at an elite level, and Notre Dame recruits at an elite level. And so anytime they're facing off against each other, if you're a fan of college football and you're a fan of recruiting, I would advise watching because there are sure to be fireworks. And in this battle, this was one that Ohio State has to feel good that they won. If you are Alabama and Notre Dame, you knew that this would be a difficult battle. It's always going to be difficult recruiting against the likes of Ohio State, much like it's always difficult when Ohio State has to recruit against the likes of Notre Dame and Alabama. However, Ohio State has an inherent advantage when that individual is located in their backyard. And because of that Alabama-Notre Dame, they had to know that this was going to be an uphill battle, but one that they were absolutely committed to fight because Austin Sierveld is an intriguing prospect. Coming in as a top 20 interior offensive lineman, and this is the type of player that institutions are clamoring for. I talk at length about the importance of offensive line and the importance of getting the right guys because everything starts in the trenches and if you don't have that set you're gonna have a really hard time being successful or at least as successful as you would like to be or maybe as successful as you should be and so the importance of that area in recruiting cannot be understated and because of that what a great win for the Ohio State Buckeyes and Ryan Day as they look to piece together their current recruiting class and make their mark but now we need to go to the Pac-12 because there's a lot of intrigue in the Pac-12 or at least in my opinion I'm very interested in the Pac-12. With all the coaching additions there, with all the moves that have happened, I'm really interested in the future of the league. And whenever we're talking about intriguing storylines, one such storyline occurred here recently, and that's that Oregon and Dan Lanning went to California and were able to get the commitment of a top 200 player in all of high school football, Jerry and Dickey. And this is a big deal because this is one of the nation's top wide receivers. And Lincoln Riley and USC are now in a position where they're trying to lock down their state and not let elite talent leave. And though you cannot win every battle, I've talked about this at length, I don't care who you are. Nick Saban, who recruits at such an elite level, doesn't win every battle for the players in his states. Recruiting is far too national now for you to quote unquote lock down your state. But it's about winning the battles that you'd like to win. And this is a battle that Oregon wanted to win and ultimately that they did win. Whenever you're Dan Lanning, you know that you have a defensive identity. You know that's your calling card, but you cannot forsake the offense. And if Dan Lanning can continue recruiting these offensive targets at this level, well, he's going to be able to put together an offense that he has faith in, much like he's going to be able to put together a defense that he has faith in. And at the end of the day, whenever I'm really summarizing why I'm so interested in the Pac-12, it's because you have Lincoln Riley, who's an elite offensive-minded coach, now going up against Dan Lanning, who's an elite defensive-minded coach, and that's going to be a major rivalry in the Pac-12 moving forward because those are two major brands in that league, and they're both going to be vying for control of that league. And you can sign me up for that because college football desperately needed that, and it's awesome that it's coming from these two brands. So, very interested in hearing from all of you. First and foremost, let me know what you're thinking about recruiting as we move into the summer months, and then let me know what you're excited to see for your favorite team. That's it. See ya.